Well, I did love, I mean, I, I, I loved writing short stories, short fiction, and, and that was actually how I broke in. Um, I published my first professional story in 1971. I didn't publish my first novel until 77. So I had, I had like 50 short stories in those years and more since. Um, and they've been collected in a two volume uh, anthology called Dream Songs that's still in print. So if you want a, a retrospective of the best of my short fiction and some television scripts and a lot of autobiographical material, Dream Songs is the thing to get. It has most of my Hugo winners in there, Sand Kings and, and uh, uh, Song for Laia, and also a lot of my Hugo losers. I lost far more than I that I won. Also Nebula losers, Nebula winners, um, things that never got nominated for anything but still have a place in my heart. So, uh, and a lot about uh, maybe more than you want to know about my life and uh, so forth in the introductions. So check out Dream Songs if you like uh, short fiction at all. And of my previous novels, well, I, I had I had four novels before I uh, started writing uh, A Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, and they were all, I'm all proud of them all in different ways, but they're very different. I didn't like to do the same thing all the time. Fever Dream is probably the, the most successful of those, my historical horror novel uh, set on the uh, antebellum Mississippi. Um, and then after that, there was The Army Getting Ragged, my rock and roll novel, which, mm -hmm. you know, I'm still very proud of, even though it almost destroyed my career and sent me into a, a, a new life in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> the book deserved better, in my opinion. Did get nominated for awards, I got great reviews, just nobody bought it. <laughs> you know, I, I often tell uh, young aspiring writers, of whom I meet many at events like this, uh, and when I teach Clarion or things like that, that uh, there's a lot of great things about a career in writing science fiction and fantasy, uh, but it is not it is not a career for anyone who needs or values security, <laughs> because you will have none. It, it is a career for someone who is a bit of a gambler and enjoys uh, rolling the dice and then rolling the dice again and rolling the dice again. I've had I've had some terrific success in my life, both early and late, and I've also crapped out a few times. My, my career has crashed and burned at least twice where I thought that I might never, you know, sell or publish another word. So uh, that's, that's the kind of career you're entering into if you want to write science fiction and fantasy. One of, one of the ups and downs, uh, so be prepared for that. So, in 91, when you